One of the first steps we take is to remove the hinge cover plate. Then we pop the cap off the other hinge plate to reverse the door. There are four nuts here that we will need to remove. Once these are all removed, we will take the hinge out and set it aside. So now that the hinge cap has been removed, we can lift the freezer door off. It should slide off easily. Put it aside where it will not be damaged. Next, we will remove the screws from the middle hinge. Now we can pivot the door away and lift it off. Our next step is to remove the screw cap and move it to the right side of the unit, as well as the hole plugs to the right side of the unit. It is often easier to work underneath the unit by laying it on its back. Our first step when it is on its back is to remove the left hand leveling leg. Unthread the bolt here and pull the washer off. Then you can remove the bottom bolt screws. Before replacing the fridge door, flip it upside down to remove the door stop and move it to the far side of the unit. Loosen the screw. The plastic pin will drop into the one hole. The screw threads in beside it. Then you can proceed to tighten it up. Our next step is to gently place the door back on the unit and slide it down. We strongly recommend doing it in this configuration since it is easier to mount the middle hinge in this setting. Start by setting up the three screws, starting with the outside screw and using a hand screwdriver. Gently slide the door up onto the pin. For reinstalling the hinge plate to the other side of the fridge, three steps need to be taken. This screw needs to move down to the lower hole, the screw needs to move to the upper hole, and the pin needs to be moved to the right hand side. The best way to do this is to invert the plate and unthread the screws so you don't lose the washer. The next step is to snug up the bottom screws. Then you can replace the other leveling leg and it will thread into the base of the unit. You can now lift the unit back upright. Slowly and gently lower the freezer door onto the hinge pin now mounted on the left side. It is recommended that you have a partner that can hold the door in place during this upper hinge installation. Replace the screws in the top hinge. Replace the opposite side hinge cover with one screw. Gently screw it on and you're finished.